For this tutorial we are going to be making a curlew card crown. We have curlews here in the Morecambe Bay estuary and they are the largest wading bird in Europe with a wingspan nearly a metre wide. They have amazing long beaks which help them dig deep in the mud for worms and they also like to eat shrimp and shellfish. So there are a few variations to this tutorial just in case you're missing some of the materials so one way or another you can make a coat you. So you will need card, old envelopes and cereal boxes will work, scissors, stapler, toilet roll, paints or pens and a potato or an old sponge. If you don't have a stapler you can use tape Masking tape is best but any tape will be fine and if you're using tape pens and paints won't work very well so you might want to do some paper mache. For this you'll need a collection of old magazines and newspapers and some PVA glue but if you don't have PVA glue then you'll need some flour. If your card is thick you want two strips of card for the beak about three centimetres deep and one long strip for the headband about 65 centimetres long and about five or six centimetres deep. For this example I've used some card from small packaging. Because the card is thinner we'll need to double it over so the middle will become two strips for the beak and the outside pieces will both be for the headband because the card is not long enough. Fold each strip in half so the plain side is on the outside and fasten together. If you're using a stapler get an adult to help you. For the headband slot one strip inside the other and fasten in place. It's a good idea to have all the staples going in the same direction. That way when we complete the headband in a few steps time we can ensure the smooth side of the staples will be on the inside. I've made some geometric stamps to represent the patterns on the curl use feathers. You'll definitely need an adult to help you make your stamps. If you're using tape and paper mache instead, just bear with me. I've had a go at making different marks here so you can see the various effects you can create with your stamps, felt pen or even biro. You don't necessarily need to paint the card of the headband as it's already beige brown, up to you. Um, for the beak we want one strip black and the other pink. Let's rewind a little. If you're using tape you should have something like this. Two strips for the beak and again because the card's not long enough we've got two for the headband. Here I've actually got the card folded a couple of times to give it more strength. Give your headbands a roll so they curl more easily. Measure your head and get rid of the excess. Stick and stick so it's a complete circle. Now we'll attach the beak, hold both pieces together and fold twice so it sits neatly around the headband, fasten in place. For the eyes cut three strips from your toilet roll at about one and a half to two centimetres. Cut one in half and fold both halves back about one and a half centimetres. Fasten to your eyes then attach to your headband. Again get an adult to help you if you're using a stapler. If you're doing paper mache, get your collection of magazines, newspapers and old paper. Gather together bits of black, pink and I've also got a brown black pattern paper for the feathers here. I also use some newsprint with lots of writing on as that makes quite a nice feather texture. To make the paste mix half a cup of PVA or flour with half a cup of water. It's going to make the card quite soggy so you'll need to leave it to dry, maybe overnight it will be really strong once it has. If you use flour it will look a bit dusty once dried but if you give it a wipe with a damp cloth you can remove most of this. So that's us for today. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed it and um, yeah I'll leave you with our long beaked friend.